Welcome to the Tremendous Hustle channel, everyone. It's been a while since my last video due to the inclement weather and also just trying to take care of some other work matters. But now it's time to show you what I've been finding recently at Walmart. And yes, the clearance deals are increasing. We had a little bit of a lull there for a while, but now we're starting to see more and more items being placed in the clearance sections and also being marked down throughout the stores of the Walmart. So come on along with me and take a look at what we found. Noticing some of the hats have been reduced. These hats were ranging anywhere from $2 to $5. Uh, these tend to be, or seem to be more women style hats, but uh, couldn't really see too many men's hats that were uh, marked down, but really cute ones here. Anything about coffee is popular. I was out at the Mason, Ohio Walmart, so you saw the little Mason hat there. And there are other ones too, game day, things that say love. These little slogan hats are kind of cute. Blue jean blessed hat I thought was really nice. It was only $2, or $2.50, one of the two. And there were many items throughout the store. Once again, I'm seeing a lot of sweaters as shown in my previous two videos that have been marked down. And expect to see more and more of that as we head towards spring. You know, February is a really cold month here in the Midwest and in the East. And um, sweaters like this for $5 can still come in handy for a lot of people. These corduroys were $5, marked down from $17.88. So really nice price on those. Now this bedding thing, now I haven't really seen this before. Uh, I'm told that, or according to the packaging anyway, I'm told that these are often found in high-end hotels and it makes making the bed and tucking in the sheets easier. Well, those were reduced. I found this nice little cute kid's bike, $55.99, $24 off, white and pink. It's a Magna 12-inch bike with training wheels too, so it's great for toddlers or little ones that are just learning to ride a bike. In the section where boots and shoes are found, you're gonna find many boots that are reduced. This pair in particular was $13. I believe they were like a size seven. So they were a smaller uh, woman size boot, but for $13, it's not a bad price. Now these as well, these loafers were $13. They had several small bags, backpacks, that looked like bags or bag-sized backpacks. I don't know how you would, would refer to them, but they were $11, $11.50. I guess technically it might be a mini backpack. Is that what they're called? Tell me in the, in the comments, get me straight. But for $19.98 down to $11, it's a nice, retail price MTV so if you're one of those people that remembers that when MTV actually played music that's kind of a cool throwback bag and it's got the old MTV logo on it with the pink and the the turquoise or teal popular in the 90s late 80s now these shoes we were about 20 bucks they have been marked down as well. I think normally they're in the 30s, $38 or so. And so just skimming through, it will soon be spring in some parts of the world. You know, people still wear, wearing flip-flops and sandals. But if you're not, now is a good time to start looking at those as prices will probably only start going up for things like that. Now, these winter boots, these nice hiking, hunting boots. If you're a real hunter, um, you know, you probably can't go more than a couple years before replacing your boots. $35. It's not a bad price. You get a lot of boot for that $35, considering how high it comes up. Uh, the fact that it's waterproof. And, and granted, this is Ozark Trail. It's not one of the premium brands. But at that price, $35, I mean, you could buy two sometimes almost three pairs for the price of one premium boot. A pair of lug loafers, they're $22. 
So there were several different boot styles. And so the only reason why I'm showing all of these is because each boot was slightly different from the other. They were all around the same price though, $35. These here were $39.98. And once again, you know, it's a different style of boot. More subtle, didn't have the hunting camo. So something like this was more your style. However, those really haven't been marked down. But the reason I'm showing these is because very soon, these boots may be reduced as they begin to get in the new inventory. So keep an eye on those items that are clearance. They may be marked down in a week or two. Well, this chainsaw, $128 normally, I think it's around $148, $149. So it's $20 off. The reason I'm showing this is $20 is not that great of a savings, but I think if you still find these in your Walmart um, within the next couple of weeks here in February, uh, check the price to see if it's been marked down. Sometimes this is something that might go in hidden clearance. I've noticed a lot of their tools have been hidden clearance where they mark it down once and then they don't mark it down again but the price is actually cheaper. Now they had a big tire sale at this Walmart and throughout other Walmarts, you might find something similar. And so I'm just showing all these just to kind of give you a general idea of what the sizes are. Um, $55 for those. That is a very small tire for a small car, but talking to a friend of mine just yesterday, she got four new tires for a car and it was around $500 plus. And so tires are very expensive. So Walmart does have tire centers, at least certain Walmarts have tire centers that will actually do the mounting and will actually provide you with a warranty as well, tire service. So I've bought tires and had tires put on um, a car and it was a smaller size car, but it was, well, medium size sedan actually. And it was around 350 or so. So generally you'll save or you could save about $150 on tires, purchasing them from Walmart. And you may not find this in all Walmarts. You may only find this, you know, in those that actually have the tire centers. And so you'll want to check maybe the Walmart app or walmart.com to see which locations have tire centers. And you might find a new set of tires pretty well. If you've gone through a few slick days of ice and snow and you realize your car is sliding all over the place and it's been a couple years, three or four years, maybe five years, and you haven't had new tires put on, uh, it might be time. So I think this discount kind of lines up well with a lot of people's needs. Now this was something. This was something I was excited about. I've shown this in a video from a couple weeks ago and I passed on it, it was $59. Now, when I first looked at it, actually where the section uh, that these Batman displays, this playset slash display, was that it said it was $99. However, as I searched and checked out UPC, I began to realize, hey, these are actually marked down. They're only $40. I had seen them at a Walmart last month for $59, and I was kind of kicking myself for not getting it based on how much they're selling for, as you can see on the screen now. It varies, but still, for $40, there's a great margin of profit there, so I picked up one to flip. Give it a try. Uh, these boots were $13. They were in a totally different section, so this is why I like to walk throughout the entire store when I'm on my clear you know, my clearance hunts, because sometimes they'll be in designated clearance areas and other times they'll just be scattered in a display like in the middle aisle between where like the electronics would be and um, the, the grocery store part of Walmart. And the same with these clothes. So, I mean, this was the children's section and they had clothes for two to six dollars. So that's this kind of coincides with what we've seen in my previous two videos as well last month and that a lot of the children clothing is being marked down to make way for new inventory that will be coming in here in the spring. Now check out these pajamas, those little baby Yoda, little Grogu 
pajamas. If you're a Star Wars fan or a Mandalorian fan, or you have a little Mandalorian fan, they'll love those. This Fortnite t-shirt with the uh, monochromatic camouflage was only $2. Jurassic Park fans, I saw some pajamas there too. Jurassic World, the new one is coming out this summer. There's another little baby Yoda pair of pajamas. And they were $9 for that pajama set, which is marked down quite a bit from what the original price was. Pajamas are cute, pajamas are nice, and kids, I don't know about your kids or grandkids, but generally they like to slip into their pajamas before bed, and a nice new pair of pajamas just seems to lift their moods. So these are nice things that are clearly left over from the Christmas holiday season. Overstock what you're going to usually find. Now here was the other section. I mentioned that we saw some of those uh, bags, the mini backpacks, and uh, the actual clearance aisle, but they were also like located in the on the end cap of the section where the bags usually are. And so there you'll see plenty of them. These were all Disney themed, so you'll see Mickey Mouse and you saw the Nightmare Before Christmas, more of the Mickey Mouse and Minnie, and then there's Baby Yoda, Star Wars, and then down at the bottom too, Looney Tunes with Bugs Bunny. And each of those were $11.50 a piece. Now the Winter Thermal shirts continue to be marked down. $4.50, which is a pretty good discount. This is the time of year once again. Uh, in cold climate cities where the Walmarts stock these items routinely throughout the year, they're going to be reduced now. And you can expect these to continue to be clearance. If they're not clearance at your current Walmart, you can expect it within the next week or two. We're getting towards the end of February now. They're going to start wanting to get more space in to bring in more spring clothing. And so things like this have got to go. And we can benefit. It's a great opportunity to save money. We you know that during these times inflation is high in the US so anywhere you can save money or perhaps even stock up if you are a reseller for the future maybe next winter you can stockpile some things now um, thinking ahead to when these items will be very popular again in the future you know that was a good time perhaps to replace older clothing with some newer clothing at a very reduced rate I headed over to another Walmart and they had this gigantic section of toys that have been reduced. You see the Lego items, they only had a couple of these. Um, Legos really sold well during this Christmas season, so there weren't a lot. And they were probably maybe 10 to $15 less than normal. Um, the same with this Transformers item, I think these were like $40 around that price when they first came out and I think they're now about 26. Hopefully the price will reduce and continue to go down within the next week or so. Look forward to going back and checking on those because I'm a huge Transformer guy, love them. Um, and also I know that they, as a reseller, they, they sell well. Now I'm here I'm just scanning all the different items. You've got Blue's Clues, you've got um, some of these uh, generic large toy items too. But what I'm looking for are items that really have been reduced, um, you know, 40%, 50%, 60% or more as I'm looking through. And I remember all of these things being out at this Walmart during the Black Friday time period on through the holidays. And now as the Walmarts are trying to make space for them, you can see items like this Paw Patrol, which is now $9.97. Originally it was $19.97. Cute toys. Kids love Paw Patrol, uh, especially young kids, toddler age. Uh, this one was marked down to $19.08. Uh, 
OMG dolls, the LOL dolls, you're going to find many of those. This Monster Jam, uh, Mastodon Wash, it's a, you know, not, well, first of all, here's Mulan. You're going to see, and we've seen plenty of the Disney Princess toys being re reduced and marked down. This item was $39.99, I believe, and now it's uh, down around 20 something if I, if I remember correctly. Apologize for not actually getting the exact price on that one. But big toys, you're going to see many of those big toys reduced now. The big toys take up a lot of space and it's time to free up space. So if you are a toy collector, if you're a toy reseller like myself, my wife, we look for items like these. These Ryan Rockets that are $10. They were $19.99 or $20 during the Black Friday sale period. Now we have a few of those left and they're being marked down. 50%. So now's a good time to come through. For a while we had a little bit of a lull where there was hardly any clearance items and now as we get towards the end of February and as I start preparing for spring and I've mentioned this a few times perhaps already but now's the time you're really going to see quite a bit of clearance items. You're going to see the number of items clearance increase as well. So by the end of February if you are a bargain shopper or a reseller you'll see a lot more the kinetic sand is a nice toy um, kind of messy <laughs> if you're a parent from a parents perspective but really fun for for kids and at nine dollars or fifty percent off these this lol doll set a lot of dolls really good value there they just haven't been marked down enough yet but they will be soon enough 450 these dorables are they're Disney characters, and they're small size, almost like Polly Pocket, if you're familiar with that toy line. And at 450, it's that's a, a, a pretty decent markdown. Spirit, um, not too many of those were left. They actually sold pretty well in the holidays. And these are the Raya dolls. 441, a couple of dollars, two dollars fifty cents off right now. But based on the number of them, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they come back down and mark them down again. And so that's what I'm looking for when I think of things like that. Sometimes you'll find them and they'll be marked down all the way to 250, um, you know, where it's 75% off and then that's where the real value comes in. The Encanto dolls, 444. This Adventure Force. Now Adventure Force is not, it's not Hot Wheels, it's not the premium brand when it comes to car, but that set is pretty sweet and all that it has in it is pretty impressive. And at $37.41, it's only about $12 marked down right now. Um, I can see that one going down a little bit more. Then the OMG 4-in-1 Camper was $61.75. That too hadn't been marked down very much. But these large items, you know, not a lot of parents want a big large item for their kids. They just don't have the space for it. But when you see something like this, this was $94, and it's marked down to $70, $50, it's $20, you know, $24. Uh, those are items that I always keep my eye on, and I make a mental note for. And you, you can apply that to anything that you see in this video. And hopefully as you go out and look in your own local Walmarts, you'll kind of know and start picking up on some of these trends that I'm sharing with you through this video. The Care Bears marked down. Um, every year, Care Bears get clearance. I don't know why, but it's like they overstock Care Bears. They over anticipate the uh, appeal and then they're marked down greatly. Now, these Barbies, I kind of highlighted in the previous video, so I'm not going to talk about them very much or even, didn't really even spend much time looking at them. I just wanted to show that many of those things have been moved to this section. Now the Mickey Mouse's remote control toys, really cute, really popular. Um, at $19.97, uh, not, not enough, but I have bought things like this in the past for $5.50, $6.50, as we get a little bit later into the clearance time. If it's around, then that's where you really get the value. These Blippi toys were marked down to $0.75 cents from $3. You're going to see these Bendy Blippy, uh, the Blippy figure for a dollar, and they were originally maybe 444 or something like that. 
Yep, there it is, 444. So many of those things. I mean, Blippi is relatively popular. Uh, Coco Melon, I was really looking for the Coco Melon train. There's like a musical train or something that they sell at some of the Walmarts. They were been marked down to five dollars, and they were normally like forty-five bucks or forty-nine dollars. Uh, I have not spotted any of those, so someone probably got to them before me, or they just weren't in my local Walmarts at all to begin with, because I don't remember seeing them during the holidays either. The so big puppy this thing is cute makes a lot of noise talks it's, uh, sings musical and um, it was marked down from you know the price that you see on the screen there and to twenty dollars here another somewhat big size toy was the barbie porsche uh, this was something that um, we, we saw during black friday and I think it was probably around $30 then, close to it, maybe 26 something. So it's about 50% off. Uh, it's been marked down a couple times. So you may notice that on the clearance sticker. I moved on and looked for some tools, some further heart tools. So heart tools have been marked down since January. And this one was about 20 something dollars marked down from the, the price, uh, the previous clearance price. And this paint sprayer, Wagner is actually a pretty good paint sprayer. We use that. We actually have one of those and we used it before. Um, and here is a fan too that works with that 20 volt heart system. Now the Igloo coolers have been marked down about $7. They were $24, um, I think it was like $24.98 down to $17. And so these almost $8 marked down. And they're very nice. You know, we're getting now out of the winter as we head towards spring. Um, they're gonna be bringing in new ones and those items, those igloo coolers are gonna be full price again. And the same way with this fishing angler sets, these combos that we've been seeing at the various Walmarts. Well, this Walmart now was clearing out all of those items. And that filet knife is actually very nice now that I notice it. <laughs> I'm not a fisherman, but I do know some some people. I have a friend who is a, a big fisherman. And so even something like that could be a good gift. And, you know, we can give gifts all year round. You don't have to wait until a holiday to give someone that you care about, a friend of yours, a gift. I want to thank everyone for watching. Really appreciate you clicking on this video. If this is your first time here please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and if you've been watching my videos all along I want to thank you and really want to express to you how much I appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this and I will be hitting it back again real soon it's time to go back and check to see what else may be available for you have a great day